Hey guys, I need some pants. So I'm gonna go to the Value Village and if I'm going to Value Village, we're gonna make this a thrift with me. So let's quickly go do that because I don't have a ton of time. So let's see what we can find in like an hour and a half. Okay, this is cool though. This is like a vintage hat box. And it's huge, but it's gorgeous. I don't know how I would use it, but I wish I did. Guys, look at this. At first it looks like a gun, right? But no, it's not. It is... Let's not drop it here while I'm one-handing things. It's a video camera. Look how cool and vintage that is. So cool. Very, very cool. And in this vintage case and everything, like, so neat. But very difficult to show you guys with one hand. And look at this. So cool. I like the way it looks too. It's very pretty. And we've got a Stormtrooper mug set. Also very neat. Oh my, why do I love this? This just feels like my vibe totally. I'm super tempted with this. Check out this very unusual teapot. It's a washing machine. Okay. <laughs> my grandma had a bird clock very similar to this where it would chime a different bird sound for every hour and it was really neat. Okay, what? <laughs> Someone got rid of their duck stash. <laughs> That's too funny. I actually think I'm going to skip the books today. Okay, maybe just a brief browse. What can I say? Guys, look at these super cool vintage copies of these two Stephen Lawhead books. I already have these in a different edition, but these are just way too cool. And I just found the third one, you guys. So they have the complete series in this vintage edition. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's not get distracted any longer and let's browse the jeans. This sweater has an interesting vibe to me. But I can't see myself wearing it for some reason. All right, I'm definitely running out of time and I need to try some stuff on. So let's do that now in front of the mirror. Okay, so I was wearing a dress before, but I just put on some pants so that I could try on a shirt. I feel like I have something similar like this, but it's not completely solid, so it doesn't totally wash me out, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on this. What do you guys think of this? It is quite soft. The colors are pretty nice. Hello, welcome to the next day. Yesterday, I didn't make it in time. I had to rush out of Valley Village without checking every section that I like to check out. So I am actually going to go again right now. I just finished work, so I'm going to go again and finish the sections that I didn't get to yesterday. Hopefully I can find a few more things, but yeah, I'm dealing with a killer headache today, which super sucks because I didn't bring any painkillers with me to the city so I guess we'll just deal with the pain I don't know I don't know what to say it sucks but we're gonna go thrifting and we're gonna have a good time and we're gonna find some gems let's go again this guy's pretty cute but look at this you guys that's fantastic I really enjoy the color story on this shirt, but I just, I can't, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I would wear this. I want to be someone who would wear this. 
I absolutely love the 80s vibes of this shirt and how oversized it is and how simple it is. I can't quite capture the color on camera here. There, that's a little bit closer. It's more of a green than a blue. But anyway, I like this. I just don't, again, I don't see myself wearing it because of the color. What about this blue-gray? It's kind of got this rib detail in the center to give it some, I don't know, personality? Maybe I'll try this one. I love this Banana Republic sweater, but it's a small. It's in the wrong section. If it was a large or something, I would probably definitely, probably definitely try it on. So I would call this cardigan more of a, more of a light jacket, honestly. But, and as much as I really like it, the quality is like awesome, the design is really cool, the colors are nice. But I just, I don't know if I would even grab it from my closet, so I better leave it back. But I just wanted to show you guys, it looks pretty cool. Okay, I love this one, and I would wear it. But it's quite a, it's quite an itchy yarn. So in that way I would not wear it, but otherwise I'm kind of sad because it looks pretty cool. I feel that. I absolutely adore these sleeves and I would want this, but I don't know how to style like a cropped shirt in winter. These older looking garments are just so interesting to me this super feminine shirt with the puffy sleeves oh that's catching my eye i'm just not overly like i don't wear a ton of like super feminine things but i love it i love this black shirt it looks a little bit navy blue or something on the camera but it is black i love it it's so gorgeous and I would probably wear it, I think. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't, I don't know. This looks so much like a t-shirt I once had and I loved it and I would love to replace it. But I don't know, I don't know about nine bucks for a, like a plain t-shirt from the thrift store. I don't know. Here's a sweater shirt that I've never seen before. I don't know if it's meant to be like like a workout shirt or is it I don't know what do you guys think I don't need a winter jacket and I'm not a small but this is pretty nice Christmas Well, color me intrigued. Look at these huge sleeves. And it's like, a, it's like a denim, but it's orange. So interested. Okay, no tag, but look at this beauty, you guys. This has to be like a 60s dress. And like, it's such high quality. I want it, but I don't think I would wear it. It's gorgeous. I love this uh, sweater vest, but there's quite a bit of stains on the front and I'm not good with getting stains out, so we'll leave that one. Also, this vest would be in my cart right now if it was a larger size, but I don't think this is gonna work for me. Having said that, this one is very adorable. I actually really like the fit of this sweater. And I don't mind the price. But it is somewhat itchy. So, yeah. I'm debating if I should just do it or not. What do you guys think of this? Let's see what we can find in the puzzles. 
It's a Fraggle Rock puzzle. Who else in the comments below? Let me know if you watched Fraggle Rock growing up. I'm still looking to replace my purse. So let's look for a backpack purse. I want this puzzle so much because we had this growing up. Oh, I want it. You don't even know how much. But I think I'm going to actually leave it behind. I know, that's not like me at all. You guys want to see what I got? Let's look at it. Okay, so I have one book that I always save for the book hauls that I do on my channel. So we're going to save this one. I've got this really cool number. I think, so it looks like a weather, it says rain change fair. It's some kind of weather thing. I forget what those are called, but that kind of predict the weather by the pressure and stuff. So I thought the vibe of this was just super me and it's vintage and I love it. So, I mean, even if I put it in some kind of display in my house, like I just feel like it works, right? So I grabbed this and I really, really like it. Do you guys remember a couple of thrift videos ago, I saw a girl talk puzzle in the store and I said, if this was the game, I would buy it. Uh, I found the game. How cool is this? So this is the actual game. It does say second edition, so I don't know which one uh, my family had when I was growing up, but this is the actual Girl Talk game from like the 90s. So super, super cool. I think it would be really fun to play with my sisters maybe. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool. But anyway, I'm excited to have found this. Let me know if you guys ever played Girl Talk or even know about Girl Talk. Uh, so yeah. Very cool. I had a coupon, so in order, in order to get a discount, the coupon discount, I had to purchase a certain value and I only needed like a dollar and some. So I grabbed another of these, they're kind of like stemless wine goblets that we have. And so I thought I would just grab one more for our collection, I guess, for our use, daily use. And it was only $2, so it fit perfectly. It allowed me to get the discount and it was very worth it. The rest of my pieces are clothing items. So I found this man's button down, button up shirt in this burnt orange, which was coincidentally our wedding color. Um, and in this corduroy material, it's high quality. It is Eddie Bauer and I just couldn't leave it because mostly because of the corduroy and the oversized fit so this is definitely obviously i wouldn't wear it with this dress that i'm wearing today but i really like it and i don't really wear orange so i thought this was something both style i would wear and this type of orange that i like so this was just super cool couldn't leave it behind and happy to have it but definitely gonna wash it first. Next up, I found a dress. This is a, it's more of a summer dress. It's this denim material. It's sp spaghetti strap with these, they're uh, real buttons down the front. And then it just flares out just as a normal tight bottom with the buttons all the way down and pockets. And I thought this dress was super cute. It's got the cinch around the um, abdomen area. And I thought this would be so nice for church because like I could just put this on, even in wintertime, I could put this on with any kind of cover up on top, like even the one I just showed you, that orange one. And it'll just be this nice, cute, modest dress. It goes down below my knee. So it's just really, really nice and I like it. So happy to find that. I've been wanting to add more skirts to my collection, having a bit of a struggle finding skirts that I like um, and also that aren't just black. This is a black shorter skirt with buttons down the front. I really like that vibe and it's a short skirt but it's not like mini so it is around my knee which is a nice length and it's very flowy and comfortable so I really really like this skirt. 
Uh, it is black, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna have to like stop buying black skirts at this point. I do have two and I think two is probably plenty for me. So I wanna find some skirts that aren't black. So, but I do like this one and I'm happy to have this one. This is a unique looking, a unique shape, a unique style of dress. It is this brown color, which you guys know I really enjoy, like the brown type neutrals. So it is a collar shirt with this fake button detail and uh, long sleeves with a cuff. And it is a bit longer. It's got an interesting cut on the bottom. Let me see if I can show you. You see how it's a little bit longer on either end, but it's like longer on the outsides, which is an interesting idea. I don't think I've ever had a skirt or dress that did that. And then on the back, it's just plain, just plain. And yeah, I thought this was really cool. Also a very modest, I could wear this to church. Super excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to see how I can style this one because it is different but I like different, so this is good. And then my last piece of clothing is this chunky knit sweater. It looks vintage to me. There's no tag, but it is the teal color one that I show you guys um, in the store. It is, it is, teal. no, it's not teal. It's more green than teal. It's a funny color. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera. I don't have the screen that flips, so I can't see what you guys are seeing. But um, yeah, I liked this one on me. So hopefully, hopefully I can get some wear out of it, right? Yeah, so that is what I have to show you guys for this time's thrifting, thrift with me, thrift Thursday, whatever you wanna call it. I hope you guys uh, liked coming along with me. I hope you saw some things either in the store that you thought were interesting or here in my haul. Let me know what you think of any of this stuff. Let me know what you've thrifted lately and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.